it's regulations that now set ceilings for you okay. so you can't bet more so nilikuwa na dhau saba staisa how you usiku so sisi yake hata alikuwa anafaa kukaa mimi nikasema kabla huo mtu wa pizza afike siwache nijaribu nini <laughs> Yo Maze, asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Wicked Edition. I'm your host Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. Maze, the 2023 KCSE results are out. Now one of the most awaited results this year ilikuwa ya Nuru Okanga. Sasa kumbe wa Kenya wajui ile results Nuru Okanga alikuwa anakoja kwa serikali alipata na IBC 2022 August. Alafu 2060 students have scored less than 100 marks in the national exams like less than 100 marks how much today thau mbili so utapata kwa si thau mbili kuna mtu ata amepata kumi yake moto eh alafu sasa here's the where the savagery comes in gava inaamua ku check results in 25 bob imagine ku spend 25 bob upate umepata 10 as in Eh hey, alafu kuna hii story there's a story we missed ya yeah, the Malawi president anaitwa Lazarus Chakwera he has been in the headlines for the decision to ban himself uh, and his cabinet from foreign travel uh, till the end of their financial year which is in March 2024 that's just a few months alafu amekuwa praised he has been praised for the decision which i think is double standards because hapa Uganda president Museveni is always criticized for going nowhere since 1986 <laughs> eh hey. Alafu Bumia's uh, East MP uh, Peter Salasia is also allegedly on the run after he reportedly issued a death threat to Kakamega magistrate uh, Gladys Kiama over an unfavorable ruling. He does want to say that one of the reasons the magistrate may have uh, reported the matter to the police immediately is because ningumu sana kwa dem imagine the thought of kukufia Salasia. Now, nini? <laughs> and others have said that uh, maybe Salasia may kuna hit as wengi sana of late. Uh, so he just needed to feel wanted. <laughs> uh, on his part, a Merukayo story, and just like it's written, uh, Peter denied. I'm a server, the courts must be crazy. When I say what I mean, threaten ye, sa gap, sa. At sa, 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 when you look at my flight, I flight from Nairobi in Kuja Nandege as Sambili from on Sunday to Nairobi. At Mimi ni ni me ni me threaten to kill Max Street. At sa gapi at at sa sita jana, eh sa sita na nusu after me patiana at your judgment yake uchin ya uchinga yo. So me na uliyo na na. Iyo time Mimi nukwa me travel nukwa galam me boarding ya flight yangu ya Kisumu to Nairobi ilikuwa Sambili. Nikakuwa kwa mkutano hapa Garden Hilton. Sangapi? E, kwanzia kwanzia sa kwanzia hiyo sangapi sa, sa 5 nimekuwa mpale mpaka tumetoka tumemaliza mkutano sa 5 ya usiku. Nimekuwa hapa niko hapa anasema atimekimbia nimekimbia wapi? Sio ndio huyu. So kuna pata kiruka hiyo story uh, Salasi amesema yeye hajatoroka in fact he was not in Kakamega when that happened and everyone wants to see how this case stands because in the last election Salasi rose to the spotlight because he ran without money and he won now people want to see if he can run with money and win <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, thank you moving on uh, we might as well uh, call our brand this week the fashion week Judging by the discussions we Kenyans have seen at the top levels of government, imagine uh, MPs were in, were in session this week complaining about parliament staff wearing tight skirts. Mr. Speaker, if you happen to, at the moment, to go to our restaurant, you'll find female uh, ladies who are serving us there. They are wearing very, very tight trousers, very tight uh, skirts. I hope this ruling, Mr. Speaker, cut across all the members, all the people who are within the parliament building, including the members here and the ladies who are serving us at the, uh, uh, our restaurants. I think it cuts across, Mr. Speaker. Yes. And if it doesn't cut across, let it be uh, the crack of the assembly, let him uh, ensure that uh, it also get implemented to the staff which uh, is uh, supervising. You know, this is why Kenyans feel that some leaders have lost touch with the ground. 
things are tight everywhere. <laughs> eh. Eh. <laughs> and I, I, I finally, I, I, I understand that, that, that part of the role of an MP is oversight of government. Oversight of government. Now they're overseeing the private sector. Now... <laughs> Eh, I love the debate. Uh, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula has also decided to ban kaunda suits, which means since that president Pia was in the parliament, I can't imagine an attacker. And past houses have donned kaunda suits. For the record, donning of kaunda suits has somehow gained acceptance in the house since the eighth parliament, when the then member for Unyenje's Honorable Njeru Kadangu always wore the attire. Arising from emerging fashion trends that now threaten the establishment of parliamentary dress code, it has become necessary for me to depart from what has been obtaining regarding the admittance of the Kaunda suit as appropriate dress. The moral of the story are the two clips uh, we've showed is number one, and I believe someone would be justified to say that our parliament is not very good at addressing issues. They are very good <laughs> on dressing issues. Now, Nandu Juekwanza, this is Fashion Week. President William Ruto has urged Kenyans to tighten their belt, which means the president is very aware of what people are going through. He knows Kenyans are losing weight. Now, <laughs> And one of the highlights of um, this week has to be the announcement that some parastatals will be privatized, among them KICC. Zimel mentioned Yuakatha, I don't know about the other parastatals. Like in see, I thought architect wa KICC, Ali Tokea Kasema, the building was originally designed as a private. I'm a, to a challenge, I story. <laughs> ah. Um, before to a challenge, I story, Kwanza, Kwezo parastatals, Kuna moja in Shangaza, Kuna moja in Itua. Western Kenya rice millers. Mumma is here parastatal night wave. Western Kenya rice millers. Miss Dejo Kuna parastatal night wave. Western Kenya rice millers. Wanna say, wanna see again, Annie Michele? Seriously. Yoni kama kukuwa nakinyozi Jamaica. Like. Anyway, we have a great show lined up for you. One of our guests for this episode has seen it all in terms of betting. Our other guest knows it all when it comes to the same subject. Uh, John Kamau and George Miner are in the house. Yeah. Today's episode, uh, Asante Sana, today's episode, uh, Nizile Information na Juanga 2 can save a life somewhere and can definitely help someone going through a tough time, courtesy of maybe gambling, I'm a less information about what gambling is. Join, uh, jo John and uh, George are joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you in a bit. Asante Sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Wicked Edition. Asante Sana for sparing your time to spend this segment of your life with us. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. I love guest with you, Leo. Ni, um, for uh, our guest, we have a uh, topic here to your Leo. Kwa show is a topic that is long overdue on the show. Uh, both of the guests have reached out to me differently for us to have this discussion. And thank God, Zime coincide na tukaiza ku have wow kwa show. The topic is betting. Uh, George, George, George ni limit na ee, nikiwa tu, uh, tulibump into each other mahali tu wakanembea. Ii, ii, mazi, betting ina muonesha moto sana. Na at that time, I think, alikuwa mechukua loan, akawekelea. I think tunafatu wanzi yafo, George. Karibu sana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, so, me is Junior's story, your story, happy. So, hey. it was Nilianza Gakubet, yet Nilianza Juzi Kitambo. So, Kitambo? Eh, hey, Kitambo, Nilianza yeah. Kitambo. So, you know, right. Kitambo, ni relative. Una jua unaza, tu, Kitambo, to Nazenda Baka time, ya moi. <laughs> Tupati, eh? <laughs> uh, what an isseme? Ukiwa around, Shule, Ukiwa. After, after two, I think around. Oh, after high school. Uh, yeah. So, Mimi. Kilikuwa tunakelega hiyo time uh, betting ilikuwa gaso peke yake. Haikuwa inaenda chini. 100 bob. 100 bob. Yes. So at a time ika kamigi, mini kakula gatha umbao. E gatha umbao ni mesha inaje na ayo. 20k. E, 20k, juu saa unachiki ni metoka chuo, ni mekula. 20k. Mika mbao na so. Mm -hmm. So ikaenda hivo, ikaendelea tu ku develop. Sa, the next weekend, juu saa unilikuwa na onaga. Juu nilikuwa na mekelea weekend. Sa nika onaga. Enye weekend, mina kula. So wacha niyakeleza hao. Yo weekend si kukula. Then sa kidogo kidogo, ingine ika kam. Sacha iya kwekelea, iya kubet, iya kawaida ti kwekelea man city nini nini. Kuna ingine ili kam, ili kwenye ito wa kalig. So hii ili kwenye wapati ya time flani, mcheze, unalipu una hapo hapo. 
So dem flani alikuwa gati alikuwa anafanyaga na ye job. Eh yeye akaekelea gaso akienda at home. Akakulaga half meter. Mm. Kaso. Dem akaekelea so. Eh nani year seconds ilikuwa inacheza 30 seconds. Ilikuwa igwa eh, ka league flani. Mm. Lakini hiyo kampuni ilicheza gaka hiyo. Ukasikia hivyo ukasikia what eh, a woman can do. Ukasikia gaye nye. Inaoma. Ah hiyo dem. Mm. Mara ya pili akaekelea tena. Mm. Akula so ngapi? 300k 300k eh nikashindwa huu uh, kwa ni yako na bahati gani so u dem saa akaendelea pia eh, kujaribu nini kucheza cheza hizo vitu kucheza cheza eh saa kaanza kukamkutusho ati eh mimi jana nimekuliwa mpaka nikaenda kutafuta nia huyu <laughs> kwa mabati <laughs> nikashindwa si u dem saa amekula almost 700 utakuliwaje 50k ati wende kutafute pusi kwa mabati aje mhm eh wode mimi nakumbuka poa sana i think hiyo duke tu nilimfanyiaga tu alinuaga kiti peke yake mhm lakini hiyo do nyingine wote ukiweza muuliza mhm eh niliona gari akitufanyia pia rambe sijui and uh, nini and uh, sijui akamaliza shule mm. na alikuwa job mhm hiyo tukamaliza so kulikuwa na demu mwingine bado tu tulikuwa gatuna ye huko So yeye yeah, tulikuwa tuna bet gina yeye hiyo tu betting league. So tunaekelea kadhao za mbili hivyo. So hiyo time tumechorwa job. Mimi na huyo dem. So time flani kafika huo dem uh, sijui aliekelea mshahara yake wote. Kambao. Hiyo time tulikuwa tunalipwa mbao. Eh saa ile kushtuka shtuka yakachukua alikuwa ameandikwa kwa mchoa Mpesa. So ye yeah, hiyo kushtuka akachukua eight akarusha api huko we <laughs> so ngoke kukamjioni alipeleka kama mkonje mbio mbio aliyekelea do ya mpesa eh okay do yote ya mpesa eh eh so yo kama liza kwanza tukachorea juu hiyo kampuni kwanza ikafungwa so um, same after some few maybe uh, one or two years yes. mimi nikakuwa nimefungwa biz so nikana nikapata na AC so lakini bado hiyo hiyo league bado iko mm, mm, mm. so kuna morio wangu uh, yale kwa na bet tulikuwa tunashindaga juu bizu unajua ikiwa mpya so hakuna ma clients nini nini so mnashindaga tu kwa simu kuwekelea kuwekelea tu eh mi de flan nimeekelea tu hivi kaso kakula kambao kengine na hiyo hiyo league ya kuhesabu seconds mm. ah ingia nkanda ngamshie bro so naona venye kumenda eh na sijui nini ilimvuta akaingia sijui aliingia gana za mbao aliwekelea za mbao mahali ulikuwa umeekelea eh, so eh, eh, mpe, pia mimi nilikuwa nimekelea ah hiyo hiyo place tu hiyo yenye nimekelea so yeye amekelea za mbao mm. eh acha acha apige shughuli apige shughuli aka kula kaso so 100k eh 100k mm. so huyo msee hata juzi juzi si kitambo alikamiga akanisho Juna unajua ali kama kini dance ya nini nini eh ni aje shika zao mm. <laughs> ana kuwekelea badala ya kelee beti sasa <laughs> <laughs> mimi unajua na nijenga sasa kunionyesha wewe mm. tebua angalia kenye nimekula mm. so you see kitambo like boys anakuja anakuambia angalia kenye nimekula eh <laughs> na <laughs> <laughs> saka kama mm. uh, like akafunga ga shop mimi nikashinda go hiyo ni haja amefunga funga lakini nilikuwa najua ni the same things na hizo vitu mm. so eh, flani kuka mivo kwa shop akatupata gamina msizi kanisho igimia yenyewe acha nikwambia getu kweli betting mimi D- believe it or not ile za wenye nilikupatia ndio ndili save walai <laughs> aya aya sawa <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, John reached out akani ak- convince that uh, Kenya tuko na cases kama zenye George amepitia because we don't know what it means to bet responsibly yeah. right yeah. is there anything like betting responsibly and in that same breath ebu tuambie kama mtu anaweza kuwa pro sana mm-hmm. ufanye betting for a living like we hiyo ni job yako tu yes so um, to your question mambo ya ya responsible gaming it happens in regulated areas especially mm-hmm. in countries where it's very well regulated you go to countries like britain mm-hmm. they set a ceiling based on your behavioral spending 
your Let's behavioral see. spending. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So if in a betting site you spend on the last, let's say, three months, because yes. the AI needs to run how you spend, mm -hmm. and also the time that you spend on the website. So they're able to know, we were able to work with betting us also. So at any given point, they shouldn't allow you to bet with a thousand. So the, the oh, website- they can't allow you to yes, bet, no? Yes, it's regulations that now set ceilings for you, okay. so you can't bet more. Mm -hmm. And also, the, the website should be able to log you out if you spend more time on the website. Okay. So there, there, are, there, are, there are countries where it's very well regulated, okay. and you'll find punters uh, gaming responsibly. Hapa Kenya, if you have a lot of money, the only thing it could limit ni 500,000 limit in your MPSA to mm -hmm. send out. Mm -hmm. So you know, it could be yeah. And then you find in these betting sites, most of them, I think, yenye ineza, uneza toa do mingi at a given point, ni 140,000. So vitu zina kukontrol ni hizo Kenya. Yeah, yeah. But anything else, no. Okay. And in terms of making a living, at some point, yes, utaunda do. But what we say, and uh, most people say, at the house always wins. Actually, that phrase is halfway. The house always wins, and a win for a panther is a postponed win for the house. So either way, the house always wins. He won 20,000. Believe you me, he still took back the 20,000 uh, 20, back. And you find, because uh, I've been on the other side of betting, you can have deposits of a million shillings, but turnovers of 10 million shillings. So what happens is, these guys keep reinvesting. What came in as deposit is a million shillings. But if you count the number of bets and the value of those bets, cumulatively, there'll be more than 10. Because this guy wins his first bet, Hatoi, mm. and Arudisha Tena. Mm. Mm. So at the end of the day, Topata Amekojoa. <laughs> that is what we say in gaming. Mutu wa kirusu na samaga umekojoa. Yes. So at the end of the day, you'll still lose. Okay. Now, yes. is, is there, like, let's say, mm. in terms of the idea of responsibility, mm. do you think mtu aneza bet, awi nikama 20 million, mm. aseme, amini meacha, wacha niende ni, ni invest, mm -hmm. eh, imeishi ya hapo. Yes. Ka, can you quit? Um, As in, would it be an advantage if you quit? Actually, we, there, there is a company I worked for and we had a case of a guy who won 24 million. And he won, he won that thing called, uh, progressively. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I come at 10K, he may grow up to 24 million. Then uh, I may, when you machine that you do, I'm not a kind of check. As per the regulation, I'm a faculty 140. So you can imagine he needs like five months to withdraw your do yote. So uh, we talk to him, we tell him, to have a rocky account, usicheze. You can only be withdrawing. 140? Yes. 140 daily? Yes. So for five months, I'm to get 140. Kesho, I'm daily, 140. So for like five months. Mm -hmm. So we advised him to have a fanya. We had a same account, we had a account, we had a bet. Three days later, he had nothing. Ati? Yes. Three, Three days, days later. later? Yes. So what do you think what do you think goes on in the mind of such a person who was mm. a millionaire yesterday? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of course the suicidal thoughts will uh, will come they would, they would feel like the world is is done for them and then asha ona hiyo dokubwa so going back to kufanya kazi za 10 20000 agro na hiyo do yake kidogo na field iko sawa na yeye it's very rare inakuwa ngumu inakuwa ngumu cuz asha ona hiyo do either way hakuitumia but aliona and, and then the regret will probably vitu atafanya utapata ame ame fall back hana friends kwa familia amenyamaza yani ni mtu tu akona stress zake na kama ni mtu wa madrev pia utapata ameanza ku, kufanya sasa pombe ikiwa mingi he can tell you any other time he lost most probably kitu alifanya ni ngango aliende ya pombe ah yes so, so he, how how can that be solved in your experience uh -huh. like how cuz um Ikona benefits, kuna yes. wame benefit. Yes. Na ikona losses. Yes. How can there be, uh, mm -hmm. in Etwaji, how can people reap benefits, if there are? Yes, there are benefits, because there are people who work in those companies. Okay. There are people who own those companies. And also government get taxes from these companies. Mm -hmm. And um, through CSL, which most companies have done, they've drilled boreholes, wame sponsor my team and all that. So there are benefits, yes. As much as kuna iyo moral degradation na patawatu, wana lose lives, wana lose familia, wana lose biashara, mm. but still there are benefits. Uh, the issue that we've been having in Kenya is the access to money. You go to other countries, like our friends in Uganda, they are more detailed. Because our mobile and internet penetration is very high. Internet ukukwetu iko sawa. You go to those countries, you realize how of a, a good country we have. In terms of mobile penetration, you'll find everyone even in the village have smartphones. 
na pia mobile money is big we are the rad, uh, third largest gaming uh, economy in africa after nigeria and south africa and we actually have a very lesser population because our friends in ethiopia have over 100 million we are just 50 million but we are the third largest we are we actually not the third largest populous nation in africa but easy no vitu zimefanya to grow ni mobile money and pesa such that even the few coins that you have in bank unaweza zivuruta na ukuju wekeze nazo so uh, before someone feels like they've lost a lot pia wame wameweka hiyo do mingi mm. and what happens is ile time ameanza cruise anaanza kukimbisha bet ameka 10k imeenda so sasa hataki ati ku win hataki 50k and akaweke 5 na odds za 4 a win 20 ama 25 ndio arudishe yake ndio arudishe hii tena yake pia hiyo inaenda ni kama shetani hiyo siku anakuwa anakuwa amejoa so what will happen ni ata keep yeah. akichase na juu sasa akichase more utapata ameingia kwa hizi to microfinance ame, ame borrow na of course ziko kwa simu na ni hiyo time hiyo time uwezi fikiria so okay. that given time you will borrow and then ruga inakuanga fit hiyo time so pia kama kuna mtu wa familia unajuanga ama best yako na tudo kuitisha hiyo do inakuwa rahisi sana uta create tu ki scenario na do ifike mm. ikifika mm. tena unarudisha tu naenda hewani yeah. inakataa kurudi na wenzake wewe well, ulijuaje ni kubaya mimi ni jua ni kubaya kama sina do kwa account niko yeah. nunge kabisa sita hisa au de flani bana mama 31st ilikuwa 31st flani sita taja ni gani lakini mama akanichapia eh niaje eh julio ni 31st si ununiweka pizza tu nini ah nikamshon iko sawa so nilikuwa na dhau saba sita hisa hao hiyo usiku so sis yake hata alikuwa anafaa kukaa mimi nikasema kabla huo mtu wa pizza afike siwache nijaribu nini Unajua mimi nilishow mama nili sweat wadai juu saa saba ilienda na si ilienda kabla pizza ikame kabla pizza ifike na ushaitisha nishaitisha na ujua watu wanakujaga hapo saa nikashow nikajuagaje eh acha nizime simu so nikaambia mama fanya haje kuna boys fulani hapo mtaani utupikia tu chipu nikamsho itisha chipu na kuku hiyo ndamjenga nikirudi wera eh kumbe huyu mtu wa pizza ameshaka ama kauliza eh mnajua George George anajulikana mbaya eh nilisikia kong 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 ah eh mimi nawapigia simu iko mteja kashindwa haki ya Mungu ni hizi ni gani eh eh mimi unajua ulitaja pizza nikafikiria nikatulia juni kwa nafikiria utaka kusema uli bet mama but then <laughs> but hiyo ndio sasa situation yenu ulijiambia betting ni mbaya ulijitwaje kwa hiyo story eh mtu aezagi mtu aezagi mimi mimi nayo siwezi chocha mtu ulimwambia arudi pizza yake zi saa unajua hizi yaenda jua naambiwa gua sijui kuna kwa gana ka process sijui naitupa sijui kwa dustbin wanapiga picha sijui warudishe huko Ivo inakuwa gani story pia ku nini ku cancel delivery kisha fika eh delivery yeah. unajua mimi hata sijaacha pia story ya TV ile mimi nililuzigi unajua mpaka mimi hakuna place venye anasema odds ziuzwa mimi yenyewe sijaipata na mwenye na news kuna msali news ya gods akisite 5k kaniambia titi imetenda tu <laughs> team zilichapana zilienda 66 <laughs> mimi sijaishtuka hivyo hope my coffee ya George na John <laughs> Maji. Asante ni sana kwa kutokea show yetu. Yes. Asante ni sana for um, putting out um, in it, your points out there and sharing mm. your time with us. Mm. Yes. Asante. Wapi mm. makofi yao tena maji. Thank you. Thank you. Asante sana pia for the team that help us uh, ha have helped us put this show together uh, director ni Diana Etabale Colin Skima kwenye sound uh, Jackie uh, Mkanzi uh, Tinga Tinga anafikiria ngami msahau kila time Kevin Tinga Asante sana kwa kila mtu ametusaidia kurekodisha wetu leo alafu uh, thank you too pia for sparing your time to watch what we prepared for you otherwise that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is Dr Kingori